What is going on guys? It is Darkstream today with another YouTube news. Today is Friday the 13th and guess what? There's no most fear, but there is a ton of new information I gotta bring to you guys. But seriously, EA, it's Friday the 13th. Drop most feared. What are you doing? So we also have the Madden Classic Champions Pass. Gives you a choice of all 32 Madden Classic Chemistry Coaches. Use these coaches to unlock the Madden Classic Souls in at 100,000 coins. So, pay 75,000 coins or pay $10 to unlock solos that give you 100,000 coins. Now, that's not the only solos that we also have today. If you take a look in here, we have the Madden Classic Predictors, so you can play these and you get yourself a Predictors, and I'll show you guys those sets in a second. And then you have the Madden Classic Solos, so that's played through 8 solo challenges, and they're all moments, and you earn 25,000 coins profit. Seriously, EA? Is this what we're doing now? Pay 75,000 coins to play solo challenges. That will probably take you about an hour to earn 25,000 coins. And in the end, all you get is 25,000 coins profit. You eight contracts on all of your players. And all you get is a freaking coach with some chemistries. Now, here are the predictors for this, so make your pick here if you think Tweez will advance out of the group stages. A correct per pick earns you 1,500 coins, so you only get four choices, so you can pick four people, and that would give you about 6,000 coins total if you correct them all. Now, personally, I'm not, you know, the biggest into watching this, but I'm pretty sure Dubby will make it out, probably Skimbo, and then, besides that, I'm really not too sure, I don't really know anybody else, but I knew that Skimbo and Dubby are very good players. Besides that, let me know down below who to pick because I honestly have no idea. Maybe Tweezy and I guess I'll go with Joke. I, I really have no idea, honestly. But basically, any of those guys, you can get 8,000 coins. But we also have something that really pisses me off. Series 2. Now, of course, you know what does look pretty cool? There's a 91 overall. Series 2 master, Janoris Jenkins. Now, like the Mark Cooper, 120 season tokens get you a 91 overall, Janoris Jenkins. Now, if you take a look at these Series 1 sets, though, there's only Amari Cooper left. And guess what you get when you play head-to-head? -head? Series 2 Collectibles. Now, if you're like me and you were saving up all of your Seasons 1 Collectibles to try and get yourself the Amari Cooper or just the 87-9 to overall pack, EA just said, screw off. Because if you take a look here, you look in these sets, guess what you need? Season Tokens two or higher are you kidding me so not just seasons two but seasons two through twelve so you know what that means any higher season so basically excluding seasons one why couldn't they just make it seasons one or higher and just made them better no now you gotta waste all of those seasons one that you have but if you take a look, it is only 18 now for an 84 to 87, and only 55 for an 80 to 90. And then, of course, you have 124 to General Ross Jenkins. But for people like me that have a ton of these Seasons 1s, but not enough for Amari Cooper, I'm screwed. But something I did find a little bit glitchy is I actually went into my item binder, and I looked at these, and I'm, I guess they actually made new programs as well. If you take a look at it, on the seasons one seasons tokens there's actually seven sets still available now i don't know how many you need but i guess i'm just gonna try and do a bunch of these nat players and see if it'll let me add it to the set and apparently it is letting me add it to the set so let me just add a bunch of these real quick and then i guess i'll open a bunch of these packs for you guys all right so i just went ahead and did a bunch of these packs then we have nine of these now i'm gonna do one of these right now and i'm gonna save you rest for my pack open it later after I do the Young Unleashed so I can have a longer video for you guys and open up a ton of more elites. But in this pack, we're going to get 83 overall, Cars 83 overall, Carson Palmer. What the hell? Why can I not speak? Carson Palmer. 
Okay, so I'm probably just gonna throw this guy into the elite exchange set or whatever I want to do with him because honestly, not gonna be able to use him on my team. But we also have a free 91 overall Jerry Rice. So if you guys go to the Burbank, the Man Championship, you actually get yourself a 91 overall Jerry Rice, and his stats are pretty damn good. So let me pull up the stats real quick, and I'll tell you what they are. Jerry Rice has 90 speed with 91 acceleration, 93 agility, 85 jump, 71 strength, 90 catch, 89 catch and traffic, 85 spectacular catch, which is a little low, 84 release, and a 93 route running. That's insane. Also a 68 run block, a 63 impact, 87 spin, and a 91 juke move. Now, also the free Twitch Prime Legend that we have today is actually probably going to crash the quarterback market so let's take a look and see if we can find where he is at and it is randall cunningham so the 90 overall randall cunningham actually is pretty solid stats as well and this is probably why the quarterback market is probably going to take quite a dip today because his stats pretty solid 84 speed 87 excel extremely fast for a quarterback and also a free quarterback 87 throw power with 82 short 80 medium 84 deep 89 throw on the run 72 play action he also has an 87 spin and an 88 juke move but seriously ea today really just kind of made me mad like if you take a look at this this is just ridiculous we get series two so all of our season one tokens they go to waste basically and if you've been similar to get the amari cooper and you don't have them you're not gonna be able to get them and that seriously triggers me and then it's Friday the 13th we don't even get to get ourselves the most fair promo on Friday the 13th that is just <laughs> that's just mind blowing and then instead of dropping most fear guess what they do they drop a pack where you have to buy it with 75,000 coins to earn 100,000 coins from playing soul challenges <sighs> EA what are you doing doing seriously what are you doing obviously you know i i like the fact that we got a new series too and i like the fact that the sets aren't as you know expensive and then you see that it takes less tokens than these seasons one to do as you can see like the jenkins he's also you know 120 coins but now he's an iron overall but the 88 to 90 is only 55 and then the 84 to 87 is only 18 which is better than it was before but seriously man come on but let's take a look at the quarterback market real quick and see if this Randall Cunningham is going to be crashing it, which I predict that he will, honestly, a 90 overall QB. Now, the quarterback market kind of did go down once these super mutt heroes or whatever came out because of the fact that these guys are really not that expensive and they're really damn good. So let's take a look at the 90 overall to 90 QBs and see what their prices are looking at. So we have Derek Carr, oh yeah, going for 250,000 coins. That is definitely lower than usual is 290k for warren moon then you have kirk cousins under 300k drew Brees is only 300k cam new and team of the week is only 300,000 coins probably because the Brandon Cunningham is probably a better quarterback to be honest keep scrolling down and you guys can definitely see the qb market is taking quite a hit now of course the only qb that's probably going to stay expensive is mike vick 2.37 million coins but that is all the new content that we have today a bunch of new stuff came out and i'm gonna have a but uh, i'm gonna have a video coming out later today we'll open up all of those nat offensive and defensive player packs as well as the golden unleashed pack opening so make sure to smash the like button if you guys are excited to see that and i'll see you guys next time